Hey, this is Dave with CinemaDeviant.com here, here with another episode of The Roundup. Uh, Guy Ritchie uh, debuted his trailer for the uh, the film, The Man from UNCLE. Um, now, this film is based on a 1960s TV show um, starring Robert Vaughn, I believe. Um, now, it's it's funny uh, because Guy Ritchie is, is known for um, his, uh, I guess, kind of like crime type of films. Uh, they're mixed with uh, stylistic action and then also mixed in with some comedy, some dark comedy here and there. So it's interesting to see how, uh, how he does uh, with this film. Um, it's been a while since Guy Ritchie has, has uh, thrown a film out there, ever since uh, the Sherlock Holmes films. Um, this film is starring Henry Cavill, Army Hammer. Um, so it's interesting to see, I guess, um, how much from the original show he's going to take from there. Uh, if there are going to be little nods here and there to the original series. Uh, but it looks great. Um, it looks funny. Uh, it, it's good to see Henry Cavill on something other than uh, the Man of Steel, his Man of Steel role. Um, so I'm uh, actually waiting to see this one and see uh, you know how good it's going to be. Uh, I'm not even going to say if it's good. I'm going to say how good it's going to be because it looks like it's going to be uh, quite a blast to watch. Today marks the day. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty excited. I have my, my Legend of Zelda shirt on. Uh, today is the release of Majora's Mask 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. Um, it looks like a, th this game takes place after Ocarina of Time. Uh, Link is chasing a Skull Kid uh, into the forest and finds himself in a parallel world uh, called Termina. Um, he finds out that the moon was, is going to be um, crashing into the surface of that world. Um, within three days and has to uh, figure out how to save it. Um, now I've been waiting for this game to be remade for a while um, and um, thankfully they finally did. They also released a, um, a limited edition new, new Nintendo 3DS system um, and a limited edition uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D bundle with the Skull Kid statue it's like a small little statue uh, and if you stay tuned to this YouTube page uh, we will be unboxing those pretty soon um, now the game looks beautiful uh, from the, from the screenshots that I've, I've seen so far um, this isn't just a regular port over uh, to the Nintendo 3DS um, this is actually I guess you could qualify it like a remake because all of the polygons all, all of the 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 you know the backgrounds and things like that have all been smoothed out uh, so it looks really good in 3D the moon looks as creepy as ever now um, and I can't wait to get my hands on it to play um, now you know this game because of this game I guess being out you could say um, because they went ahead and remade Majora's Mask um, and went to 3D with it um, it raises a lot of questions with a, with a lot of people pretty much saying well what's the next one to be remade are you gonna remake any others you know are you gonna port over uh, Skyward Sword to the Wii U um, are you gonna do this are you gonna do that I mean all those would be great I would love to see uh, Twilight Princess ported over to Wii U um, I would love to see Skyward Sword ported over to Wii U um, and the list goes on and on really I'm a huge, huge Legend of Zelda fan, so I, I, again, like I said, I can't wait to get my hands on this, um, and as you can see, you know, it looks as beautiful as ever, I mean, check out some of the photos there, uh, photos don't do, it, don't do it justice, you have to, to grab the thing and play it, and, and, uh, see what, uh, see what it has to offer, the other thing that I'm, I'm pretty excited about is, uh, the little C-Stick on the new 3DS, um, that's going to uh, that added feature. I mean, although it's small, it's going to offer a lot more uh, scope as far as gameplay goes with games, you know, in the future. Um, I think it was a great addition to it, to I guess the system, I guess you could say. And uh, I, I I can't wait to check it out. And lastly, uh, we do have uh, some new. Uh, I guess you could call it a new tidbit of news uh, regarding the new Deadpool film. Um, Ryan Reynolds had just recently tweeted out a photo 
um, showing some of the prototype, I guess a prototype, you could say not some, but a prototype and some gloves of uh, his character, Deadpool. Um, now, I think he's doing this uh, because, I mean, I think he's just excited as, as everybody else is for this film. Um, he seems to be a big fan of, of the character um, and, um, and getting it, you know, on track. Um, I know this has been known for a while, ever since Wolverine, uh, the X-Men Origins Wolverine film, um, that he's been a fan of the character. Um, and honestly, and I'm going to disclaimer right now, this will be the last time that I ever uh, mention that film at all. Um, but the, the mask, although you can only see just a little bit of it, like as you can probably see in, in, the, in the photo, um, it, it looks cool. It looks exactly like he looks in the in the comics, um, and the gloves too. I mean, it, it, they look really sleek. That's what it is. Um, it kind of looks like I said like, when I say exactly like you know. I mean, it's pretty much you know spot on. Although he does go to say that it is a prototype. Um, it's awesome to see that there's some progress going on uh, with the film, um, and. I can't wait to see it. You know, I mean, I know that there has been some, um, some, I guess you could call it controversy, um, if it's going to be either rated R or PG-13. Um, either way, as long as they keep the spirit of the character and him breaking the fourth wall um, and him being just a maniac, a merc with a mouth, if you will, um, I think um, I think it would be good. You know, we, we have seen the, the that test footage that leaked a while back. I, I say leaked, but... Um, I think it was done on purpose just uh, to kind of get the ball rolling on things and mission accomplished. Uh, but, you know, with that, I mean, uh, he, that was a very hard R type of type of film that would come out of that. Um, and although I would love to see that, I, I don't think that that would be happening. Not with the, uh, I guess you could call it like a superhero film. Um, I, I don't see that happening just because they, they would want it for a wider release. Um, they would want the kids out there to see it too, or you know the younger audience as well. Um, but I think as long as they, keep, like I said, you know, as long as they keep the spirit of the character in the film, um, I think it'll be more than okay. And, and uh, with Ryan Reynolds behind it, um, I'm a huge fan of Ryan Reynolds and what he did with the character, even in that other other movie. Um, that uh, I think he could pull it off, you know, awesomely, even though it's not R. Uh, so uh, we'll just wait and see I guess where where we go from there uh, with with Deadpool and of course uh, you know we'll be reporting stuff um, as the news comes out thanks for uh, watching another episode of the roundup on the cinema deviant YouTube page uh, subscribe right here you can click click right here to subscribe to the page uh, and uh, let your friends know uh, actually you know what you do me a favor tie them up um, and uh, sit them in front of their computer or their phone and have them force, just force, forcefully make them subscribe to the channel. Uh, this will help us out a lot. Um, be sure to, uh, to keep checking this page again, like I said, um, keep checking the channel because we're going to be doing some unboxings very soon. Um, and uh, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think about the, uh, the trailer for The Man From U.N.C.L.E. Uh, do you think Guy Ritchie you know, still has it? Um, do you think uh, Henry Cavill will do all right? I guess in in this uh, in this film, rather than just being the Man of Steel. Um, and then also, what, what do you think about the Majora's Mask 3D uh, uh, release? Uh, are you getting just the regular edition? Are you getting the Ultimate Bundle with the Skull Kid figure, or are you just gonna go full Zelda and get the uh, the Majora's Mask new 3DS uh, bundle? Uh, let me know. Um, what do you think of Ryan Reynolds and the Deadpool stuff? Um, you know, do you think the mask looks pretty pretty faithful to the comics? Um, even though it is a prototype, I mean, what do you think of it? Do you think it's going to be better as a PG-13 or rated R? You know, I'd like to know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up as well if you can. Um, and be sure to share this, this video uh, on, you know, your Facebook page or, or wherever you wish. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, and also, uh, if you do, if you like collectibles or anything like that, uh, be sure to be uh, to visit BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link down below. You can uh, take a look um, at what they have. Um, that link down there will let them know that we sent you uh, to their site. 
and uh, and check out some of their deals there. They got a good winter winter, uh, winter deal section going on there. Um, you'll be sure to find something you like anyway. Uh, thanks again for watching another episode of the Roundup.